Hello, everybody. You're looking at Axel here today, who's going to join us, aren't you, buddy? He is joining us for the unboxing of the new Xenogears Bring Arts. This one is of Ellie from Xenogears, Liam Van Houten. So, before we dig in, we're going to take a look at the box art. It's got the little synopsis from the beginning of the game. Some nice artwork and pictures on the back here. I really like the artwork there of her with the X embossed over it. Pretty simple, just the bring arts on the top and the bottom. And then we're gonna grab our Kitty Katana of Unboxing, plus one. And we're gonna cut her out of this cardboard prison. So the Bring Hearts, the Bring Hearts, the Bring Hearts are actually very well known uh, for being very poseable. And if you guys have seen my uh, video of Fei here, we've got the Fei Fong Wong. He is actually from the Bring Hearts. And if you guys watched the video on that, well, then you already know what kind of po poses you can expect. But we'll do a little bit of posing at the end of this as well. So I think might be some tape. No, there wasn't. For, yeah, there wasn't for Faye. Oh. I do. In, I do appreciate that. Tape is is my mortal enemy. All right. So in this part here, we're gonna have Ellie, her entire figure. She's got the revolver from the beginning. She's also got her uh, her iconic cane. She got several different hands. We've got another head, and over here we've got her stand. We'll go ahead and get the stand out first. The Bring Arts boxing is very clean, very nice and easy to work with. There's not a bunch of wasted tape. However, if you're like me and you don't have very good fingernails, unfortunately, you're gonna have a little bit of a pain getting some of this stuff out because they just molded the plastic on these to grip the parts. Even with fingernails, it's not easy. What the crap? You want me to hold the camera? Sure. I'm gonna hold the camera for a second while we battle the plastic and pet the kitty, who is very curious about the plastic. He's like, when do I get my piece? Soon, buddy, soon. Oh. Very soon, as in right now. Poke, poke. Num num? No. no. We're gonna, we're, taste test? Alright, so these are, are the arms for the stand. These are actually really similar to, they're like, a, if you're familiar with Play Arts Kai, they're like a, a similar, or a simplified version of those. I did have a spare, there it is. So here's what you get with a typical Play Arts Kai. You get one of the big one, one of the big stands. You can actually move these and adjust them however you like. And then one of these claws, like this, they they have a peg on that play arts. They would fit into this. So they basically took that and slimmed it down. Right, go ahead and get Ellie out of her plastic coffin. Now, if you get around to these with cats around, as you can see, they are clearly cat magnets, especially once you get the hands out, they, they, they go hand on those, ham on those things. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at Ellie herself. I actually really like what they did with the hair here. She's got several layers. The spikiness on it is really nice. This back here on the back actually has joints, so you can give her hair all kinds of, it's got a lot of uh, dynamic uh, posing to it. So you can turn it, uh, you can actually. Like, I wonder if you could in. pull it far enough that you could like put her arm through it or something. What, you mean like, like that? Yeah. 
So yeah, if you wanted to do that and say, have her have a cane, and we'll have to mess with the hands here in a second. But yeah, there's lots of posing That's options cool. as far as this. Music's going a little hand. Alrighty. So for articulation, you've got at the shoulders, goes outward, also comes upward. So you've got a full 360 degree range. At the elbows, you've got quite the painful looking <laughs> amount of articulation as well as a pivot joint that goes right along the hem of her sleeve here so you can go in and out at the wrists uh oh, oh. well Beheaded. yep she's losing her head over this so at the wrists what we've got you've got simple left right movement you can if you need to switch out the hands they easily pull off and then it pivots on that because it's just a peg so the hand is simply going to pivot you can place it whichever direction you want all right below the head there is actually a segment right here where it's separate the the top of her uh, suit here is actually, it'll be easier. Sorry, Ellie. And we're just gonna talk about the upper part of your body without your head. So she's got full articulation of the torso. Moving down, the, the plastic for these is actually, these are really thin like with Faye up here as well. They use a really thin plastic for him too. Uh, so you can actually, this lets their legs move without running into too much resistance. So you can actually get full articulation. Like, ridiculous articulation. <laughs> if you want your Ellie to be a gymnast, it's completely within, uh, within all the realm of possibility. And as you can see, the skirt actually moves along with it. It's not like a cloth, it's just good thin rubber, but it's it's really good for posing. At the knees you've got basic knee articulation. She's headlessly walking up a stairs up some stairs while doing a dance move, I guess. <laughs> and then once we get down to the legs, the ankles here, so this the cuff of her boot is actually separate from the, the leg and the foot. So you can move. You can turn it to the correct direction of the foot. Yep. So if you move this over here, boom. Ooh. If you move it over this way, boom. Ooh. If you want to make it so she's completely impossible, then boom. <laughs> you never know. Just got to take a step back. <laughs> and poor Ellie. She's starting to look like uh, she's starting to look like Rem from RA0 at a certain point. <laughs> So the, the, the boots actually do go up, sideways, so she can do the, she can do some fun dance moves. So we're going to go ahead and toss on her angry face now. Well, actually, while we got this, we can take a look at what goes into the head. If you want, you can make, you can, you can make believe she's some, it's one of these heads you can't attach. I mean, you could try, but... There, she's like some kind of twisted bird. She could just mill about on her own. <laughs> so, she can ask you for money or whatever. She Now she looks like a, a Nopon from Xenoblade. Oh, yeah. See? She's like, it's like, Re it's like Ricky or Tora. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Okay, we're gonna stop that now. Uh, let's go ahead and throw her angry face on. So there's a bit of a, looks like, oh. well, actually that'll help because there is a, another, there's a pivot point here for her neck. You can actually move this just a little bit. So 
we're gonna go ahead and attach her hair again. And the other one's gonna fall off. I guess she's feeling stressed. Her hair's falling out. Mm. Left and right. All right, now that we've got her hair back on, let's put her head on. And as far as the hair, if you don't like the way it's like this, you you can always switch this one with this one. You can flip them over. Um, looks like they're pretty similar molds. I think they are the exact same molds, so the hair is the exact same. It doesn't look like they used different molds for these than these. Yeah. So It'd be kind of cool, though, if they did. You'd have mm -hmm. a, a few different types of hair. Send them a letter. All right, moving on. Let's get to her armaments even though she's not rocking the hands to wield them just yet. We have her Gah. revolver. What's the best flavor of ramen? Gone! I don't even know if anyone's gonna get that reference. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. Good amount of detail. Try to get my fat fingers out of the picture as much as possible. It's not doing it. It does the the camera doesn't acknowledge the cane. I think you gotta like put it in your flat hand and then my fat hand. What? So here are the hands. We've got her jazz hands. <laughs> We've got a couple of I'm gonna kick your ass hands. These are where the weapons are gonna go. So let's go ahead and she's a I'm pretty sure she was a righty. So we're gonna pop that right in there. She's got her angry face, so she needs gun. The gun is pretty iconic for any of you who are familiar with the Xenogear storyline. It's uh, it's actually a really cool, loving detail that's in there. Uh, really similar to. Uh, Phase can uh, of Soylent. That is a that's a, a pretty cruel, but also a loving at the same time nod to the game. So you can. Let's see how well she stands on her own if she does she should these are actually pretty good figures about it let's throw on the stand and she seems like she might need a, a little bit of help from the this is the wobbler. it's mostly her hair mm. So, in this case, when you want to pose her, you're just simply going to take your claws. That's kind of big. I like this one. This one is more of a Ellie waist sort of grip. And I'm not entirely sure what's doing this, but my hands are turning blue. <laughs> they weren't blue before? No. I, I, I don't think so. Were they? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they weren't. So the way your stand is going to work, can she sit back on her hair just for a minute? Just relax. I mean, she's she's so relaxed. Cool. She's just, that's the epitome. That's like what everyone looks like on Sunday after after a long week of work, right? So you've got a few options as far as the stand. It plugs into any of your holes here on the bottom you like. It's got a pivot joint right here, pivot joint here, and you've got a pivot joint here. So you can do this either with the the sharp pivot on bottom and the light pivot up top and then what you do is you simply behead Ellie you toss the claw right into it slides right in and then you can pose her however you like
And there you have it. So these stands are actually quite stable. You could really throw, uh, you can throw them on here and they'll pretty much stay. The reason I do it, I know a lot of folks like to do these straight on the hips. The reason I like to have it at an angle is because it grips them more tightly. If this were straight up and around her, there'd be a, it'd be there'd be a little give around the waist. So when you move it around, she would be kind of slipping and falling over. I like to do the angle simply because it it makes it nice and sturdy. It it holds it on there very tight. I mean, you can be pretty confident with how sturdy it's on there while it's at an angle. So while we are on the topic of poses, we're going to play with a few of them. We're going to grab Faye real quick. And here we have probably what's going to end up being the best pose out of all of them. I don't know why I did it first, but here we go. So I'm pretty sure anyone can guess where this is coming from. <laughs> this is the show of Faye working with Ellie, or rather, I don't know. I think it has a little bit of meaning to it considering This is Solaris. And then after you find the truth, sometimes that's a paddling. Bad fay. There's also Kitty Rider, Ellie. Oh. oh. She recovers fine. We'll just sit right here so she can so she can think about it. Oh god! And if you got any other figures lying around, this is completely canonical. And to scale. Reese's was being a little bit difficult to mount as a... She was being a difficult mount, so we Seems went like with something. Seems like she's a more successful dragon rider than she's a cat rider. Yeah. She goes nice and... Nice and chill with the Rathian. We also had to do something a bit majestic considering this is Ellie. Go with a little bit of floating action. Make her seem downright angelic. Well guys, at the end of the day, you just want to be sure that you put your angry faces behind you. Make up. Grab a can of some good, good food. And be happy. And what better way to do that than adopting a cat? So guys, hope this helped out with making your decision as far as whether or not you want to get one of these Bring Arts figures. I honestly think they are really awesome, really fun to play with, obviously. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun putting these guys together and doing all sorts of stuff with them. I really can't wait till Welltall gets here. He's coming as well. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, as you can see here, these actually do stand up to a pretty good weight test. She is completely holding Faye. There's only one of these uh, stands in place right now. So she's completely holding him. Pretty, pretty decently sturdy. All right, guys. Well, these are still on the store as far as I know. Um, I'm thinking you can get them at amiami.com as well. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Hope this helped you out. Uh, as far as new uh, folks to the channel, uh, if you're new here, likes and subs are completely up to you. But one thing we do always ask around here is if it's within your means, considering, consider adopting or rescuing a buddy. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google local animal rescue and adoption. And if you can't bring one home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, then there are other ways to help out all the animals out there. What are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, you can use all that stuff. Yep, so if you've got love to get, don't feed it to him. Are you going <laughs> to pet him? You're going to pet him with this little bitty hand? Good kitty. Let's not get it near the mouth, though. <laughs> be sure, by the way, guys, uh, be sure with all these little parts to put them up. If you do have animals around, you don't want anyone choking on them. We have little boxes that we put all this stuff into, so... Pardon all the cat hair, we do have a lot of them. Um, as uh, as Sashir was saying, though, there is plenty of ways to show your love, and if you've got love to show, then there's plenty of animals out there who could use it. Speaking of love, guys, we love you, and we will see you next time. Say bye, Stubby. Bye -bye. He's not shy. Bye-bye, guys.